Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Jamie Frank Colors. This week has been and is going to be a crazy, stressful, tiring week. I can just feel it already coming. It's only Monday, but I just had a long weekend with my kids and then this week is Thanksgiving and it was going to be an easier Thanksgiving this year because we were going somewhere else for Thanksgiving and some people weren't coming to my home and I wasn't the one having to cook. And then that got canceled. <laughs> so now I have to cook an entire Thanksgiving for my little family and they're gonna be out of school and my husband's, it's just a crazy week. And I need something <laughs> just kind of fun and <laughs> relaxing and we don't have to think too hard about today. And I just, I wanted to get on here and do something fun. So I thought, I'm gonna take my rings off. So I thought, I got, actually I got a couple of things in the mail today and we'll take a look at them and then using them we will make a little collage background and we'll see how far we get so 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 okay all right so i ordered this package look how cute the wrapping is they put it in it's so cute i should like just use the wrapping um i ordered these from napkin world which is an ebay look at my little kid scissors is an eBay um, store. I'll link it down below. But I I love them because I can get napkins and I don't have to buy a whole pack. I don't have to buy 50 of one print, you know? So, I ordered these. Oh, cute. Okay, cute, cute, cute. It's such cute paper. I'm gonna keep it in like a hoarder over here. All right. Thank you for your order. Cute, cute. I think she threw these in because I don't think I ordered these. They're cute though. Yeah. Cool beans. Okay. So. Let's see what I did order. Because do I remember? No. <laughs> I don't. Let's check it out. So, so pretty. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, I love it. I think I, I tried to order a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff, but who knows? I looked at a bazillion napkins, so who really knows what I got? So, I, I should have about like two of each print. So, so cute. Oh, this is fun. This is like wintry. This might be fun to play with because we're kind of getting into winter here. I'm going to put those to the side. Ooh, and like this would be like fun for a Valentine's Day one. Yes, yes. Love it. Ooh, like mermaid vibes. Love, ooh, fall. So cute. Ooh, this is cute. I like all the feathers. I like the color too. I mean, I'm gonna like all of these. I picked them out and ordered them. <laughs> but it's like, I don't remember. So I'm gonna love them anyways. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh, peacocks. I love peacock and I love peacock green and blue love it oh I do remember these because I want to make like a little um a little uh wall hanging thing with these so look how cute they are I got um a wrapping paper that has gnomes on it for my all my Christmas presents and I got some gnomes to go under the tree and I don't know I'm in a really gnomey year so <laughs> so I wanted to make a something with them. Foliage, love it. Ooh, another heart one, I like it. I tried to get some stuff that was, wasn't was just flowers and butterflies. Here's one with flowers and butterflies. Because I have a whole bunch with flowers and butterflies, but you have to put some more flowers in. Cute, cute. Ooh, pretty. My dad hates paisleys, funny fact. He hates them, but I like them. I think they're pretty. Like a paisley pattern. Some more flowers and butterflies. Some just green foliage. Like it. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. And I think it kind of gives me wintry vibes too. So we might use that one today. It's really pretty. Or that other one. I don't know. Oh, this is pretty too. 
They're all so pretty. Oh, more gnomes. I love it. Mm -hmm, I love it. So cute. And some clocks, which I like as well. I like, I was trying to get things that weren't just flowers and butterflies. I did get a few that were just flowers and butterflies. And then this is flowers and butterflies. So. Way cute. Oh, it's got some like music notes in the background and some writing. Cute, cute. Okay. So which one do I want to use? Let's see. We've got this. Oh, that's really pretty. Or this one. The other thing I got today was a phone book. Does anybody use these? I don't understand why they keep handing them out. Do you know the last time I like looked in a phone book for a phone number? I just don't understand why these keep showing up to the house. Like save a tree, you know? I don't get it. But they make great collage paper, so I will use it, I guess. So I'm kind of thinking, Oh, but they both have gray, so it really doesn't. Ooh, I really like this one. Okay, let's do this one. And let's use a phone book page, too. Oh my, you've got the white pages and the yellow pages. I'm filling the white pages tonight. Yes, yes. Do some really gray pages. Cool beans. Okay. I don't know. We'll cough. Thanks for the collage paper, mailman. Okay. <laughs> so we have that and we have our napkin. Now I want to take the backing off this napkin. This one's going to come really easy. Sometimes they are harder. But if you like lick a little of your finger and then like touch like that, it'll kind of pull apart. But, and you gotta just make sure you get all of the plies apart. I think we're down, I think that's it. These are really handy in encaustics to like sign your name and stuff. So I keep them because they're very helpful when I'm doing encaustics. Okay. So pretty, so pretty. Just making sure. That doesn't have another, yeah, no, we're good. Okay, so first thing is first, I'm using a canvas board, so it's just a cheap old board. And then, yeah, let's, I wish I had a bigger one, but I already used my bigger board, so this is okay, this is great. Okay, I wanna rip this up into smaller pieces because I don't want to, ooh, wasn't really anticipating that small of a piece, but okay. I don't really want, it's harder to glue down if you're using big pieces, so we're going to tear this into more respectable size pieces. What the heck? Pieces, this one does not want to tear well. You could wet a brush and then like, wet a finger. That'll help it tear, like lick my finger here. And then like go down. And wherever the, if the napkin is wet, it'll tear. Of course, got a dry mouth so I can't get any. There we go. And then it will tear wherever the paper is wet. So that can be helpful if you can't get your paper to tear the way you want it to. But um, it doesn't matter. That's a good piece. I like that piece. It doesn't matter. We're not being precious. We're having fun. Pieces of napkin. 
And then I want some pieces of foam book paper as well. So we'll mix them together. Maybe we'll only need one piece of paper. Okay. Old dictionaries work well too. Because the paper's so thin, it's just very nice. Okay. Now, for our glue today, I am using acrylic matte medium. This was just a cheap brand I found on um, Amazon. It doesn't really matter. So, we're going to use that. So, let's grab, I'm just going to grab willy nilly here and start gluing my stuff down. So, I like to put glue on first, and I like lots of glue. I want to like play in the glue, feel the glue, have my brush. I just, I want a glopping amount of glue. Put too much on and then you'll have <laughs> the right amount. Okay, so I got a glopping amount of glue here. I'm gonna stick my napkin down in the glue. And then I'm going to take that glue and put it over the top of the napkin as well, smoothing it out. But I don't care if I have some wrinkles and texture, I like that. It's one thing that's good about using napkins. So, just saturate that baby up here. Kinda. And it's gonna dry clear, so it doesn't matter. Okay, oop. glue down our board and we'll take some of the foam book paper and we'll saturate that baby up. Oh yeah. And take your finger and rub out any bumps that you might not like for the most part. It's all good. Okay. It Okay. It's just fun. We're having fun playing in the glue. Having fun in the glue. Okay. Stick the napkin down in the glue and then just rub some more glue over the top. We can use our finger again to get out any lumps we might not. Maybe we should put something on top of this collage. I got this coloring book that I don't like the paper but I like the little pictures and I bought it because I thought it might be fun to collage with so maybe we'll have to look at that and put something in here and maybe a quote or something. It'd be fun. I don't have to do that. I wasn't sure I was in the mood for any art today but it's like once you get started you just don't want to stop. My dog might be on my dining room table. I have to go check. <laughs> she like jumps up there so she can look out the window and then she can't figure out how to get down. She's so funny. Just leave her up there. Daddy can catch her. <laughs> okay, I'm liking it. I want, uh, I have like I don't know. Feel like here or something. Kinda. I got like a glue bump or something in there. It needs to dry. Come on, dry! Dry, 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 dry. But I think it's looking really good. I might stick a few pieces here and there, but I think overall it looks really fun. I really like it. I'm going to let it dry. If I am impatient, I will use a blow dryer to dry it, but I might just go rescue my dog from the table and eat something while it dries and then 
We'll take a look at it and see what we want to do to her. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I gotta go wash my brush as well too. If you're using a glue type medium, remember that it is glue and you don't want glue just sitting in your paintbrush. So wash it out as soon as you are done using it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I had to crack out the blow dryer and my dog was on the table, so I saved her. <laughs> so now I've grabbed some craft paint. We have slate gray, lamp black, and warm white. And I have like a little spongy tool. It's dry, not wet. So let's see. Do you guys ever take the plastic off these things? I can never get the plastic off and so I always end up just like, just taking the, <laughs> the lid off. I don't know. It's crazy. Okay. And I am totally lazy. So we're not even going to get a palette out because then I'd have to clean the palette when I'm done. It just seems like too much work. Okay. Okay. Get this around a little bit. Sophie, what you doing? You drink it out of the toilet. You have a bowl of water in the other room. Oh my gosh, you guys. What is my dog? Sophie, get out of the toilet. Go drink out of your bowl. Little stinker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is today? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I love this gray color though. It's very pretty. Okay. It's called slate gray. It's a nice cool gray. end up using more of this than I thought I was going to be because it's so pretty. I'm not going to know when to stop. Mm -hmm. I like it. Just pounce that baby. Come on. Okay, I think, I think, I think I want some, oh, should I do, maybe I should do the white first though. Okay, let's grab a little bit of the white. I swear. Blah. Forget it. Okay. I like that because it like mixes with the gray and just kind of makes a lighter gray. It's not like dark white. That's nice I love it. okay I want a little bit of white down in this area so let's do that and then I'm gonna put black around the edges yeah Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put the lids on those because I just know that I'm going to knock them over or something. <sighs> I guess that's just who I am as a person. It's my, it's just is what it is, you know? Okay. okay I'm gonna like tilt my board because I kind of want kind of want it on the ends and then whatever kind of like gets on the top is great and then add a little 
in the corners. You know, like that. Great. Okay. Okay. It just kind of gives it a finishing touch, I think. Kind of makes it look like it has a borders quality. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, let me show you this coloring book. If you're not sick and bored of me yet, I still have a few minutes of time. So it's called a fashion coloring book for girls and it's one of these Amazon books that has pretty crappy paper but there's such cute illustrations in here that I just had to get it because I just thought it was so cute. So ooh, that's cute. Not really wintry though. I'm kind of wanting something wintry. Look at those three girls. They're way cute. Oh, so cute. I just think like, well, this is like the cover picture, but that's wintry. That might be cool. Maybe I'll do something with that. Ooh. I like that too. She's cute. She'd be fun on that, um, that, that heart background, that heart napkin that we got. Chillin'. She's kind of cute, too. She's cute and kind of got wintry clothes on. She's way cute. Not really what I'm looking for though. Okay, let's see. Is this one too big? It's kind of big for this way. If I turned it the other way, it might work. It's not really what I'm, I'm gonna use her. I am going to use her. Okay, move. Which one of her do I like? Do I want the one with the camera or the one with her curtsying? I don't know. I like that one because I want to put a, like a quote kind of thing over here and this one makes it look like she's kind of looking towards that area for a quote where if I put her in she's looking more away from it so I think I'm going to use this one okay I'm tearing the 
paper so that it can blend better if I have a real sharp edge it won't blend as well into the background and I'm going to rip off her boot hey don't rip a boot off okay I want the boot okay so I'm going to kind of tear around her Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and think I'm gonna use the matte medium again to put her down. So let me go get my brush. All right, so let's do the same thing to put her down. Let's put some glue on here. Okay, and then put her on here where we want her. And then we will glue her I'm trying to get her on as smooth as possible. I don't want as many lumps. If I get some, it's fine. But I'm gonna try my best to make her lay pretty flat. And the key to that is like having enough glue. So. It's the ink from the coloring book smeared a little bit with the glue. That's okay. Okay. We will let that dry. Okay, so she's on there now. I want this to not be black. <laughs> okay, so I want to go back to the gray that we used, the slate gray. Stamp that so that it overlaps my paper, which kind of helps to blend her in a little bit to the background. It's not perfect, but it helps. Okay, and then I found the quote. <laughs> Funny enough, I looked in uh, on Pinterest and I typed in like gray quotes. I don't know, because I was like, this picture is kind of gray. And of course that brought up a whole bunch of Gray's Anatomy quotes, which I do love Gray's Anatomy, so I'm not against that. It just wasn't what I was thinking when I typed that in. 
but it will work wonderful because I found this quote that says you can start over every day we get second chances to become who we've always wanted to be it's never lit too late to change I think that's just so cute so I'm trying to figure out how I want to put this on do I want to write it do I want to type it up and print it off what do I want to do I kind of think I just want to write it which is very me but then sometimes I regret it because it's not as clean as maybe I wanted it to be. And I can't, of course, find a pencil. So I'm going to end up just like going for it. And then we'll really have issues. All right. Here we go. I don't know. This could be a mistake. Okay, there we go. Put penciled in there, and then I'm going to take a little bit thicker marker to put in some of the words I really want to emphasize. Change. And Never. I like it. I think that looks good. Okay. I like her. I think she's way this I think this turned out way cute. I'm gonna like you can doodle on it. Do anything. We want to do it. It's our project here. So cute. We could add a little color to her if we wanted, or we could keep it the way it is. The black and white is kind of cute. Cute little project. I like it a lot. I think it turned out really cute. Really like her. I'm wondering about giving her some color or if I should just leave her how she is. One way we could give her some color is with some markers or with some watercolors, something of that extent. Let's see, how close is this kind of pinky color? Mm. A little more pink than... Purple, I want more... Not that orangey. Not that orangey. No. Yeah, there we go. Maybe some skin tone, let's see. There's like nothing in that marker. That was, that was lackluster. Let's see, <laughs> something else. 
There we go. Go around the edges of her face. Magrans. Just give her a little color. it a lot. I think she's really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. This was really fun to just play and do. Um, I'll probably just spray her with a gloss or put a gloss finish on her in a couple of days. But um, yeah, I think this is a cute little project. It's fun to play with napkins and you can put that phone book that you got to a good use because you're never going to look into it to find a phone number. So <laughs> Use it in your collage. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.